Here's how to find the smallest common denominator using a times tables chart. This is the chart I've got handy. You might want to have one that has bigger numbers. Let's say my fractions are 3 fourths and 1 sixth. They're different sizes. I need to be able to change these to fractions with the same value, but the same size pieces, smaller pieces, bigger number in the denominator. How do we do that? Start with the bigger denominator. Find it on the times tables chart. You might want to put a card or paper underneath to make it easier to see. Let's find 6 times 1. 0 is not allowed to be a denominator. That's 6. Is that also on the 4's line? 4, 8 skips over. The next one, 12. Look at the 4's line. 4, 8, 12. Yes, I can multiply 4 times 3 to get 12. 6 times 2 is 12. We have a common same denominator. Let's say my fractions are 3 fourths and 1 eighth. Start with the bigger denominator, 8. Let's check the 4's line for that. Bingo! We can just use 8. Final example, 3 fourths and 1 fifth. These denominators are what we call consecutive numbers, counting one right after the other. We can still find a common denominator. Start with the big one, 5, nope, 10, nope, 15, 20. Whenever two numbers are consecutive, we have to multiply one by the other. 5 times 4 is 20, 4 times 5 is 20. There are lots of other interesting factors. And, and patterns that make this easier. So look for these and count by those numbers and learn those times tables. Next video, how to add those fractions now that we know the common denominator.